parking place and check this out. We've got uh, golf carts. It's been pretty busy here for most of the morning in Oklahoma, and we're at one of those polling places that has a huge parking lot. So this church has got some golf carts going that they're driving people from the parking lot to the polling station. And even when they get to the polling place, a lot of folks are waiting in line. They've got cookies and tacos in there. I'll get to that in just a minute, but big love from Oklahoma and all the viewers, uh, voters rather, down here who are casting their ballots today. So let's talk to this driver here. She's been kind of talking with voters all day. I bet you've heard some fun stories about some of the ways that people are voting and how they're feeling about the election here in Oklahoma. Yeah, there was one gentleman that I got to talk to who said he was putting his I voted sticker upside down because he wasn't really thrilled with either option that he had. So that's how he was expressing himself. And you yourself have already voted today. I have. You've got an emoji. Hold it up and tell us how you're feeling about the election this year. I am wowed and stunned, not only by the things that we've seen and heard in the media, but also that we as Americans have the privilege and honor of voting. I'm so grateful and I'm wowed. Ooh, I love it. I love it. All right. We've got another sweet family back here and we want to check in with them. How would you guys describe your voting experience today? Nice. Mama, tell me about that. Tell me about who, not necessarily who you voted for, but how you're feeling about the election this time around. Definitely the roughest one since I've been old enough to vote for sure. Uh, we're, you know, down here in Oklahoma, we've got a lot of supporters on both sides of things, but definitely on the Republican side of things, people, people have been talking about a rigged election, and they're concerned about if the results are legitimate. Have you thought about what will happen if your candidate loses? Yes, because I don't think, I think they're both going to take stabs at both sides, but at the same time, I think that's what they do towards the end anyway. They're going to try to dig up dirt or whatever they can to spoil the other side. I don't think... I don't think we'll know tonight who it's going to be, honestly. Appreciate your perspective there. Thank you so much, guys. All right, as we head into this polling station, they got the mayor of Oklahoma City right here. Casted your ballot yet? Oh, I voted absentee. Voted absentee. Yeah. Former mayor, Kirk Humphreys. Yeah. How are you feeling about today? You know, I, I've, I've not been a big Trump supporter, uh -huh. but I voted for him because okay. I can't vote for Hillary. Okay. He might win. He's got a chance to win. You see it. All right, uh, we're live on Facebook now. What emoji would you pick? Former Mayor Kirk Humphreys to describe how you're feeling about this election. About this election. <laughs> oh, this is it. <laughs> Isn't that awful? <laughs> That's how I feel. I voted for Trump, but I was not smiling when I did it. <laughs> All right, let's go inside and see if we can find some folks inside who might want to share their opinions with us. Oh, uh, real quick, you know what? People are getting ready to vote here, but... Eric, I know this is really what you're interested in here. Yes. I'm going to send this to Chicago for you. I mean, Please. how do you go wrong? A polling place where they have cookies and tacos from Taco Bell. Back to yes. you. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Oklahoma City. That was fantastic. And the former mayor, he probably had no clue that was happening. And uh, we'll see how his, uh, how his uh, approval ratings uh kind of fluctuate as the Facebook audience uh, gets wind of that. Thank you so much, Oklahoma City. Okay, let's let's head to the East Coast, WTIC Fox 61 in Hartford, Connecticut. Katie Corrado, what is happening with the poll lines and some election issues out there in lovely Hartford? Hello, Eric. Yes, we are. Uh, we're actually in New Britain, Connecticut, just outside of Hartford, and we are at Holmes Elementary School, which is one of the polling places. And uh, issues.